kids, it's Granny. I made it to where I was going. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. You wanna see where I am? See, I'm in the middle of nowhere. That little bunch of buildings that you see over there, that is a ghost town. That is what remains of Allensworth, which was a little town founded by African Americans in like 1906. So we're going to head over there tonight. It looks like uh, Australia or something out here. Oh, look at my long shadow. I have a long pair of legs. Alright you guys, about 105 years ago, a man named William Scott and a woman named Mrs. Mary Gross opened a little drugstore together. Oh, look you guys. I'm going to put the lens on the window. Isn't that cool? I wonder if you can guess what this place was. That's right. A barber shop. Let's see what that looks like. Can you see? Can you see the barber chair? And all the combs and brushes and stuff over on the left. So cool. This used to be the hotel where the traveling salesmen would stay. You know all about those traveling salesmen. Ooh, look at the ants. Oh my gosh. Look at all the ants. It's like so many ants. Oh my gosh. Can you see them? There's like so many of them. They're coming from over here. They have a nest down in there, I think. Wow. All right. Here's the hotel. The long corridor with all the rooms. Let's look in this room over here. Oh, there's a screen on this window. I don't know if you can see very well. You can kind of see there's a bed and a chair and a mirror and a wash basin. So cool. All right, this is the house I've been waiting for. This is the Smith house. And Mr. Smith died here in 1911. He planted the best vegetable garden in town. And I just have a feeling that he's still hanging around. The bedroom. Smith's bedroom. There's a sewing machine. Oh, you can't see that probably. I don't know if we can go around that. Oh, oh wow, look. And you know, they actually put chickens around here. The last time I was here, there was just this empty yard. But I saw a chicken a few minutes ago, unless it was a ghost chicken. Hi, chicken. Chicka, 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 chicka. What, are you stuck? Why are you outside and everybody else is inside? Huh? What's up, buddy? You better get in there to your girls. Are you a rooster or a chicken? I'm not sure I know the difference. I think you're a rooster. You better get back in there. Yeah, you better get back in. He's locked out. He's stuck out. Well, how are you supposed to? How are you going to get in there? You got out. You got out. How are you going to get back in? Just jump in there. Oh, look, there's a hole. Go through the hole. You want me to pick you up and put you in there? Huh? Do you? Come on. Oh, I'm making them all nervous. Now, I know you can get in there if you just jump and flap a couple of times. You want me to let you in the gate? Here, I'll open the gate. Oh, oh he's just a dumb rooster. If I leave this open, they're all going to get out. Oh, chicken. You have to get back in there. You won't have water. That's right. You won't have water. Got the chicken in. He went in. We're closing the gate. Good Lord. Why is it my job to take care of these people's chickens? This, uh, this is another store. This was owned by Joshua and Henrietta Singleton and their family. And again, there was another death. Mr. Singleton died in 1928. 
Um, he ran this store up until his death. Okay, let's look inside. Let's look in the store. All right. Look at that. There's a counter, a table. Looks like a place where they would measure out fabric and stuff, brown paper. And it looks like an air hockey table back there, but I'm sure it isn't. Probably billiards or something. This is the Heinzman store. General store, 1911, guys. Look at that. Is that adorable or what? Wow, so freaking cute. So cute. This place is called the Howard House. Because um, a lot of people who came to this town stayed here just temporarily until they could build a house. And so it's, you know, it was just kind of um, constructed out of, God, I don't know what that is, aluminum sheeting? Tin? I guess it's tin. What's beeping? Something's beeping. Alright, went away. No, nope, you can't see in here. I don't think. Nope. All curtained up. And there's an old, uh, what do you call them, buckboard wagons? Something like that. That's been sitting there a while. This is, oh, I don't know, this, the sign's back there, but it's obviously a private home. It was a private home. Oh, wow, can you see that stove back there? Is that a beauty? That's a beauty. That was fun. We got to see it in a little ghost town. Cool. So I guess soon I'm gonna make a fire. Roast a weenie. Gotta roast that weenie. It's so hot. My god, you guys, I didn't think it would be this hot. It's so hot. It's so very, very hot. Oh! A lady gave me a melon. Isn't that pretty? Came out of the Allensworth garden. It's weird because, like, nobody lives here. But they have a garden. And they have chickens. Here's my tent. There's the train. Oh, a people train. We have to wave. Hi, people train. Why is he going backwards? He's going backwards. Look, the engine is on the back. What the hell? Why is he going backwards? That's so weird. Just scooting along backwards. Why not? Here it comes now. Where's my... Is this, no. There's a train. Oh, he blew his horn for me. How cool. I got this whole campground to myself. All to myself. All to myself. Is this not a pretty sunset? It's really pretty. Um, you can't see it through the camera, but in real life you can actually see the lights of Corcoran way out there yeah it looks like Australia looks like an Australian sunset look I'm mean, the only one in this campground the only one there's the restroom there's my fire let's see my fire oh you wanna see my fire there's my fire Come by, ah, my lord. You know, it's just no fun when you're by yourself. Hey, I can move the moon. Move it to the right, move it to the left. Move it to the right, move it to the left. I'm so incredible. It's so hot. It's like not funny hot. I'm going to dump a bucket of water on my head. You think I won't? Do you think I won't? Okay, you get to watch. Hot in the tree? 
Nico. I found another ant hill, you guys. It's like alive. Watch. Look. It just keeps going. Okay, you see all the ants? And they go over that way. Look at the line. You see the line? That line. That line that you see? That's all ants. Oh, went. oh my goodness, he lives in the cactus, you guys. Oh, cute bunny, bunny. I won't chase you. Get out of there. Oh my I god. I haven't seen this before. The last time I was here, I didn't take the whole tour. Oh gosh, you can't even read the... Look at the sign. Oh, this was the school. How cute! I saw the word school. We gotta go see the school. Look at the desks. Oh man. This is where all the little Allenworth children did their spelling bees. Oh, I don't know if you can see it, but they've got like a slate and a book on each desk and a little inkwell. So cute. And look, they had their little stage so they could put on their like recitals and stuff. Apparently, Colonel Allensworth invited the soldiers from his regiment to come live in this little town. And one of them, named Mr. Phillips, lived here. Right here. A little sitting room. I love the furniture. Another nice little house. There's so many bunnies in this yard, they all ran into the cactus again. I don't know why. Why do bunnies want to go into cactus? Oh, this one's really precious. Oh my goodness, so cute. So cute. Another piano. And we got the hope chest and the bookshelf and the bed back there. Looks like the bed does not have a mattress. That doesn't look like a mattress. Looks like a board. Right now, what we're looking at is the back of the First Baptist Church that was built here. And if you notice up on the side of the building, there's a little wooden box shaped thing. Well, that's actually a bat house. And inside that bat house are Mexican free-tailed bats. And they're not coming out yet. But maybe around sunset they will. And I saw my son today, and he had grown his hair again. When he was little, he had these beautiful ringlets that just curled down. And his hair is not that curly anymore, but he had his nice long hair back, and he had it in a ponytail. And I said, oh, you got your long hair back. And he goes, yeah, you got your teeth back. <laughs> so, I guess life is kind of like that. You guys, there is no one here, and a bell just rang. Like a church bell. Bang, 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 like somebody was pulling the rope. Ooh, that's spooky. I was wrong. There's people here. They're over there, taking a walk, checking it out, ringing bells. Guys, remember the ants? Well, they've got company. There's like a bunch of beetles, and they're all trying to eat ants. Oh, there's a little bit of frisky going on here. I think they're getting bitten while they're trying to eat these ants. Because they keep skittering away like they're on fire. What a drama going on. The drama of life and death right here before our eyes. Wow. Where are you going? You're coming at me really fast. I don't like that. Go away. Why is he coming after me? You go away. Stop following me. Let's talk about what we learned today. We learned that Mexican free tail bats don't come out much in the daytime. We learned that ants and beetles don't get along very well. And we learned that when you lose something, sometimes you get it back. 
see you guys later. I hope you liked the video. Peace out.